God, I'm a little too excited. Hello, my name is Pam Stewart, and I'm here to show you my new books that just got in the mail here. I'm going to do a grand unboxing. I want to see my beautiful new cover, actually in print, and my friend here is Oliver, and he's going to help me. <laughs> I'm going to end up, like, wrecking them, probably. I also got a copy of my first book, too, just to see how this new KD print, KDP print, I've not used them yet. So I'm very excited to see with the quality differences and stuff. <gasps> okay, first we have my Frozen Hearts. Hmm. Very similar so far to the originals, but I'll be reviewing those later. Oh my god! Okay, this turned out really pretty. I don't like how they put, there's a band across them, not for resale, which I don't really care for, but the colors are so vibrant. Look how pretty, look how pretty. And then it even has her little space station on the back. So excited. And I got some art copies here for people. If anyone's interested, you can sign up on um, my website. This makes it feel really real. Okay, video. Hello. I have unboxed and I have talked. And these are them. These are those. These are my 2019 versions of Conscript. And this is the newest thing I've ordered from KDP. I've never actually used the KDP service, so this is going to be in comparison to what I've had in the past. So I've been actually using their uh, Creative Space Surface since 2008 when I first did NaNoWriMo. I had a genie book, and it was called As You Wish or Crazy Sexy Genie. And I didn't know how this worked, but they give you one free copy through Creative Space of your book and I had no idea how this would work but I was determined to get my free copy so what I did um, was I put in whatever you know looked like the best option just so I could get my free copy before the last day and I had to figure out at first they only allowed you to upload PDFs and they had to be like formatted and I had no idea how to do that this was way before there was a tons of websites to do that um, so I had to take it to work. Oh, secret, secret. But yeah, I had to take it to work and then I had a PDF uh, maker there. And I uh, put this in there and then I took the file home and I sent it to Creative Space. And this is what I got back. See, and I said I got glossy, I got 8x10, and um, the white paper with black ink, which there's lots of options, but it looks like even I had some corrections in this too that show. And that was my fault too. And the page numbers are at the top, and it's not properly formatted at all, but that's my fault. It actually had, it's lasted for quite a few years now, and it's a nice little memory that it will never probably see the light of day unless they get a full edit, because it ended up being a 100,000 word monster book. But I learned a really lot from writing it, to be honest with you. And this was my first experience with Creative Space. Uh, Creative Space is an arm of Amazon. I don't know if you knew that. And this was, but they weren't totally connected company. So you would order your books, sometimes you get them in a week, sometimes you get them in a month. They were usually pretty good. I didn't have too many problems with them. This is my proof copy from 2016 of Frozen Hearts, my very first book. And it also was, and I, I finally figured out that the 9x6 was sort of the atypical size for paperbacks, and I put that in. I decided to go with the matte copy so it looks a little bit more professional. The colors were very good. I've been told by many people that the cover and the binding and stuff look professional when I hand sold these. The margins and things, which I had to hand do all of this on Word because I didn't know how to format on, there was no formatting companies that I knew of. I didn't want to pay somebody because I'm cheap. So I had to spend hours formatting this. It still came out pretty good. It doesn't fall apart. See, this is three year old book, still looks good. And see, the only way you would know this is actually a proof is that it says proof in the back and it shows when it was printed right here. All right, so let's compare. This is the 2019 version and this is like, Amazon decided that they were gonna bring their printing in-house. 
and I don't know if you've used that before, but I was kind of scared to do this. Uh, I had to re-upload some of my books because they didn't come across the same. Uh, it would say that my file wasn't accepted, even though I had like this file accepted in 2016 and suddenly it was no longer acceptable. I don't know what's going on with that, but at last uh, I seem to have gotten onto a flow with the new KDP. Um, this is it. This is the same book. Printed three years later from KDP versus Creative Space. I mean, I, I honestly think that this might be slightly more vibrant colors. I think the, the cover looks actually a little more HD. You can kind of see the, the lighting on Ionia's face a little better on the new version. It could be just age, but I do think this might be slightly higher, higher quality cover. And I had it reformatted myself, which, because nowadays, if you want to get your book formatted, you can use draft to digital which is like God came down and gave me a gift. Because I would spend literally hours, like a half a day to a full eight hour day formatting these things. Even after I put it through Scrivener, I still had to do little things, whereas they would be hard breaks and things that would make new chapters that I didn't want. Draft to digital, if you write the word chapter before it, or if you do like a little hashtag or stars to denote a break, it reads that. Their, their program reads that. And I've heard Vellum, that's good only for Apple computers, is also very good. But draft to digital is free. You don't have to print through them. I feel like the paper quality is good. I think compared to a traditional book, it's got very similar qualities. A lot of people use cream background. Um, I like the white because it's a little more, for me, easier to read. Page numbers at the bottom. Yeah, direct digital is good. It, but I tell you what, the KDP print has done a, a wonderful job with title pages and a very professional look. Now my new books. Ha ha! See, I did some fancy fancy tops. I even got that at Drafted Digital, which was fantastic. Would I use them again? Yeah. I mean, this was super easy. Uh, very intuitive process. I, I had to do very little. I just basically uploaded it and ordered it. I might look at the margins because I feel like they're a little close. It might be hard to read. So I might expand those margins on my next order. Maybe that would increase the page numbering. But I'm okay with that. Right now it's at 200 and some pages and the binding seems really good. I'm going to be giving these out to uh, my ARC readers and also I like to keep a copy just, you know, for my completed works bookshelf, but uh, I'll be giving these out just so I can make sure that there's no egregious errors left or that the printers didn't like totally drop huge sections of words or anything, but um, first glance, I'm very impressed with the KDP print. Now, you do have other options. You do not have to go through Amazon to get your books printed. And some of my friends have used Ingram, Ingram Star Spark. I'm sorry, my mouth is not working. <laughs> I need more caffeine, more caffeine. The issues with using Ingram Spark is that you do have to come up with your own ISBN number. Um, you can get them in big blocks of 100. I feel like it's a couple hundred bucks to get those. I, you would have to look into that. I've always used either Creative Space or KDP, which provides you with your own ISBN number. But if you use Ingram Spark, you have to get your own. And also there's rumors, and I think there's a pilot program for dra draft to digital is actually looking into doing print. And I'm kind of excited by that, being that everything else they've done has been off the charts great. So I will definitely be trying out their services with my next couple of books to see if their, their printing might be better. This did take quite a while. I ordered it, it took me about a week and a half, two weeks to get this. And I understand with, you know, print on demand, it takes a while, but I was expecting to get it a little quicker with Amazon's famous overnight service or whatnot. I feel like Amazon does an okay job with customer service, but it's such a big company now that they don't individually care for you. And I felt like Creative Space was very smaller because it was a smaller arm of it and you can contact them and they would get back with you within 24 hours. The customer service was like legendary to me. Like when I had issues and contacted them about how something was printed, I always got a response and, and they were very helpful. Not so much with Amazon, if you ever dealt with them. So those are some things to think about when you are considering doing your print books. If you're interested in maybe getting the free prequel to Conscript, it's available right now. You can get that in the link in my below this video. You can get it at the link below. 
So just click there and you can get the free short story and the first couple of chapters of this book as well to kind of try it out. Join up for my newsletter so you can see when it's actually released. It should, we have a tentative release date is um, like November 15th and I'm super excited. It'll be like a early Christmas gift you can maybe buy for your friends. I don't know, if you like sci-fi, if you like Battlestar Galactica or Aurora Rising or Star Wars, Star Trek, it's very in the line with that. Got a lot of really interesting, hopefully interesting characters to you. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you have questions or you had very different experience with KDP, I would like to hear your comments because I want my books to be the best quality that they can be and that they're very easy to read. I want my products to be keeper shelf fiction. I want people to pull it off the shelf later on and be able to reread it for years or share it with a friend or a loved one. If, these qual if this quality doesn't last, then I want to be looking for other services. If you've used Ingram Spark and you've been very happy, leave a comment. I'd love to hear you. If you have other options that I am not aware of, please leave it in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I will be seeing you soon. Remember to write on right now.